welcome back to Anne Marie Sews. Um, today is another unboxing. My Think Pink box has arrived and here it is. It's still in its packet. I came home from work and I had a bit of a headache so I left it for a little bit and I'm opening it now. So it is quite dark so I do apologise for the lighting. I'm going to open this as quietly as I can but I might have to edit out the noise just bear with me one minute let me get the scissors these are literally the only scissors i've got to hand it's ridiculous in a sewing room how many pairs of scissors are there and i can only find the smallest pair right and be really careful because obviously this has got my address on it so just keeping that away um oh i didn't mention but we do have a little guest on the vlog today this is Benji. Um, he's been a bit poorly, but we have just been told that he's okay now. So really pleased to know that he's a bit better. Um, so yeah, he's just hanging out on the bed. Right, I have got a little extra something in my box this month because when you order your Think Pink, you can also add um, fabrics to be included in your delivery. So you only pay for the fabric and not for the delivery it comes with the box so i will show you the other fabric that i ordered um i was watching one of um andrea's sunday night um vlogs and she showed this fabric and i just had to buy it so here it is obviously thinking of autumn winter sewing and it is this gorgeous it's blue i think I think it's actually a bit more of a dark, almost greeny blue than it's showing up on the camera. You can see it's got that lovely weave and it's, well, knit, sorry, not weave. Um, and as you can see, it's quite fuzzy, it's quite soft. Um, and if she's still got it in, I'll link it in the description box. Um, I know that she had it in a few different colourways. And then on the back, on the reverse, it's... Um, just like a plain knit but you can see the difference between that side and that side nice and fuzzy so I think that's going to make a nice jumper um, I'm not sure which jumper um, what's the stretch like on it that's quite, it's all right actually so it could be like maybe a Freya from Tilly and the Buttons or I was thinking possibly a Tilly and the Buttons Billy because I haven't actually made one of those yet um yeah so possibly a freya or a billy or maybe a really nice cardigan something like um the patterns for pirates cocoon cardigan i really like that one um so yeah not a hundred percent sure yet but i saw it and i just had to have it because it is gorgeous so that is going to be going straight in the wash tomorrow so i can make something nice although it's still very hot so i don't really need autumn winter clothing just now but i guess it's good to get started right we have got the lovely box with think pink so scription box written on it and Sorry. There you go. You can tell that it's a live unboxing. I can't get into the box. Okay, all wrapped beautifully as usual. I'll take that out of the way so you can see. And I'm not going to read that yet because it often has a spoiler on it. So I'll look at that at the end. Let's see if I can. I don't know why I remove these carefully because then I'm like, well, what am I going to do with them? But I still feel the need to, need to remove it carefully. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. This has got to be my favourite chocolate. Love a curly whirly. Now I'm meant to be trying to be good as of tomorrow, so I may have to have a cup of tea and a chocolate later on. Um, we've got a make your own felt donut. Not seen that before. That's quite cool. 
Mm. I'm happy to give that a go. I've not tried anything like that before, so that could be interesting. I'm not sure what you're meant to do with it afterwards, but it looks quite cool. I wonder if you could um, put stuff in it and make it into a pin holder, pin cushion. Right, then we've got this little bag here that looks exciting. It says handmade with love. And I know Andrea likes to pick things that have been made um, locally. Um, she lives in Ireland, so. And it is the Dolly Tub Hand Salve. Rosehip Lavender, Sweet Fennel and Rosemary. a little sniff oh it smells it smells very lavendery actually our super soothing hand salve is a glorious treat for your overworked and ra rather overwashed mitts leaving your hands and nails nourished cared for and smelling divine mm. i'm doing this and now i'm about to touch the fabric that was probably not the best idea but that does smell really nice once you rub it in you get the um the hint of the fennel come through but when you first open the pot it really smells like lavender right i'm making such a mess here and you can see it all on the camera right so as you can actually see the fabric i may as well just show you the fabric now so there's the um postcard so it looks like there are a few different colorways and i have got a blue which is, let's open it up. I'm going to have to check what this is because I'm not actually sure I've felt a fabric like this before. Um, there we go, there's a layer of it. It's got this lovely crinkle texture to it. Um, these lovely blue flowers. There's um a few different flowers there but definitely about four or five different types of flowers on that so there we go that looks lovely um i've literally no idea what that is i'm gonna to have to look at the letter that comes in the front because i've never felt a fabric that's like that before it's a cotton seersucker Okay. I don't know why, I just assumed this ear sucker would be a little bit more like a cotton gauze. It's very nice, it's got like a little crinkle texture to it. So, mm. um, so yeah, two and a half metres of that, that could make a really nice dress, couldn't it? Um, mm. I have literally no idea, because obviously I've never seen a ear sucker before, I didn't even know that's what this was. So... I don't know what I will make with this. I will have to do a bit of research into um, seersucker and what what patterns can be made with a seersucker. Um, I'm sure I've actually got quite a few patterns in my stash, so I will check that out first and then maybe do a bit of research online. Uh, if I decide what I'm going to make or have a good idea, then I'll put it in the description box below. But there we go. That will go in the wash as well tomorrow then. And then on the back of the postcard, so you always get the front of the postcard tells you which box number it is. So this is box number seven. And then on the back, it says, asking a seamstress to mend is like asking Michelangelo to paint your garage. Indeed it is. I'm gonna take that with me everywhere. So anytime anyone asks me to mend anything, just show them that. Luckily, not too many people ask me because I've said no enough times. And then we've got some uh, universal machine needles with an assortment from 60 up to 80. So they're for lightweight fabrics. So um, they'll be perfect for that seersucker. Um, so that's good. In fact, oh no, my needles aren't up here. And then we've got the matching thread, which is a nice white one. Um, actually, it's an off-white, colour 111. 
so that's beautiful lovely box this month um so i am going to as soon as i've signed off from this i'm going to go and watch um andrea's video her vlog and see what she says about working with seersucker because it feels very interesting it it doesn't it's kind of got a stiffness to it that i i didn't expect it doesn't feel as soft as i thought a seersucker would but then it hasn't been washed and i know a lot of fabrics like particularly natural fibers do soften when you wash them so i'm really interested to see what i can sew with that um because that's a really nice fabric and i i like the fact that it means i'm sewing with something i wouldn't have tried otherwise um I think you kind of get into a habit of buying the same sort of thing. You know this works, you know what you can make with that, so therefore you buy more of the same. So it's really good to kind of push you out of your comfort zone a bit and try something a bit different. And actually both of these fabrics I've got here, I've not worked with before. Um, the This one, the knit one that I'd ordered separately, that, I mean, I've sewn with knits, I've sewn with similar, but not the same. This, um, this does feel a bit different to ones that I've worked with before but I know roughly how that's going to behave because I've sewn with very similar but the seersucker obviously I haven't sewn with it before I don't know how it's going to behave I don't know what it'll be like when it when it washes um I wonder if it's a bit like with um double gauze and when it washes does does the crinkle become more crinkly I'm not quite sure that's the word but anyway um so yeah i'm really excited to try that so i'm going to first thing will be to watch the vlog and see what andrea says um and then i'm going to have a look through my patterns and have a look online and see what sort of thing to make um and yeah get pushed a bit out of my comfort zone so that'd be good um so that's it for today i will be recording another vlog very soon because I have got three finished makes to share with you. One of them has got a really long tail behind what has happened with it because it was a bit of a fail. Um, and I have got three works in progress. One is very nearly finished and the other one of the other two won't take very long to do. In fact, I'm actually hoping to have that one done tomorrow. So... Yes, over the weekend I'm going to um, film another vlog with some makes, which will be great. Um, so I'm going to sign off here. Thank you very much for coming back to my uh, channel if you are returning. And if you are new, please hit that like and subscribe and come back to see me again very soon. Thank you.